Cheers, everyone. G'day everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome along. Hit that subscribe button down there on the right. So tonight, I am in my Nature Hike Opalis 2 tent. And I've done a few videos on this, so I'll post one above just here. But tonight there's a bit of wind and rain scheduled. Um, 25 knot winds, about 10 mils of rain. So I thought why not set it up, set it up down the back of the field and give it a bit of a test before I go out on my real adventures out in the wild later down the track this month. So yeah, the plan is to just um, bunker down and see what it's like in the wind and the rain. It's my little vestibule. Just got a little tarp down here at the moment, but as you can see, I've got my nature hike table there as well. And I can set up my chair as well and get the gas cooker out, do a bit of cooking. With the door open of course but uh yeah i'm excited for this uh heavy wind and rain she's anchored down pretty tight out there as you can see she's pretty taut I'll show you guys my sleeping system so this is also two nature hike items here. This is the inflatable mat with the built-in pillow up that end, I'll show you in a sec. And the nature hike EM200 sleeping bag. This one's rated to five degrees Celsius. So yeah, the plan is I'm gonna come out in a few more hours once the sun's dropping down. I'll bring my laptop out, I'm going to do some editing on another video and just chill in here and um, experience the rain and wind as you might be able to hear that rain just starting to hit there now can't beat the sound of that rain on a tent bloody mozzies down there, I've just had to zip this up and that rain's just starting to come down now Anyway, I'll check in with you fellas in a few hours. We'll come back out here once the sun's dropped down. Bring out a hot drink, my laptop, and do some editing and see what it's like. Looking forward to it. All right, everyone, how are we all going? It's 10 p.m. Now, as you can hear, the wind, the wind is picking up. We haven't had as much rain as I thought I would. So we're in the vestibule right here, it's quite quite spacious. Now I'm just going to set up the gas cooker on my nature hike table here. Make myself a cup of tea before I head, in, head into bed and have a lay down. So yeah, I'll check the camera on the tripod and we'll get this gas cooker going. It's typical, now that I've got the light on the bugs are like, wow, let's go have a look. So I'll set up my gas cooker here. And yes, I've got I've got a window open here. There's plenty of ventilation, so I'm not going to box myself out with propane. Knock myself out. And this here is a fire maple stove, which is also from AliExpress, one of the budget budget sort of stoves you can get. Set that up on a low heat there. Let me just turn that down a bit. Just very minimal. Very, very low heat. That's not going to take long in the old fire maple stove there. And that wind's picking up. As you can hear in the background, sky forks here. Here in New Zealand. Right now we're boiling. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah. 
that's us we are ready now this can get turned off beautiful nice cup of tea to chill in the new bedding with there we go how good is that got the cup of tea brewing here signature cup if you want a cup just give me a message I'll sort you out with one steel enamel good for camping and outdoors righty I've got my cup of tea made I am going to jump in the bedding system behind me do some editing and ride out the weather I've got to be quick here because these mozzies are going to make their way in here super quick Top here, cup of tea over there. And I'm just gonna chill on top. I mean, it's 22 degrees at the moment, it's gonna be even warmer in this stuff. That's better. How good is this? Just need that windy wild weather now. Just got word from a friend about 10 kilometers that way that it's absolutely bucketing down I can't wait it's gonna be loud in here that's the only thing Goody, I'll show you guys a tease in my next video, eh? Just started editing it. Some snapper and kingy action. Awesome. Smoked kahawai. And that'll be out next week. For you guys to enjoy but for now I'm still awaiting the storm the winds are growing and the rain's starting to come that rain front's finally come across it's taken a while I'm actually under a tree right now so I'm not getting the full full blast of the rain so it'd actually be quite deafening at the moment a big old plum tree above me up here go all right everyone so the heavy stuff is here and I am just inspecting different areas of the tent different seams just checking for any water penetration and so far so good Just had some huge thunderstorms roll through. We need to catch one on video. Hopefully. Woohoo! And she's bucketing down. Get our work light on. It's again. Some 
big thunder in the distance. I'm about to hop in the bedding and uh, snuggle up. She's bloody coming down hard. So far no leaks so that's good. Ooh, we've got some pretty big thunderstorms happening out there. in here. Wonderful. Man, this is crazy. So much water coming down. Not a chance of me getting to sleep. But I am enjoying myself and I'm super comfy. and no leaks so far. Go the nature hike Opalus. Whoa, holy shit. Jeepers. Woo! Hey everyone, just a quick update. 1.30 a.m. Had a little bit of sleep on and off, but uh, the tree above me, when the wind hits it, it's, it's drops the rain, it's just quite loud. Anyway, I'm so warm that I'm actually out of the sleeping bag now. Rain hasn't stopped. And um, I've just gone over the whole tent with my head torch, and I can't find any water penetration. Not one drop to be exact, so really happy about that. Gives me some confidence for when I take it out in the field. Yeah, anyway, I'll check back with you guys in a while. Coming down heavy now. All right, so I'm up. Need to take a leak. But you can see the water's. This ain't part of the tent, this is just a ground sheet and it's just been dripping into it. But um, a little bit of penetration through the zip area there. But I mean, it's in the vestibule area, so that's okay. Um, in general, everywhere else they can see on the inside seams and whatnot appear to be sweet for now but I'm just still still keeping an eye on it but yeah pretty cool As you can see, I survived. Not much of a sleep though. Um, I think that last part of the video where I got up at about 2.30, 3am to go take a leak outside. Um, I came back in and I don't remember much after that. So I think I slept through till now, which is about 6.45am. Wind, the wind is still quite 
The wind is still quite heavy at the moment. But in general, they stick, they stick quite well. And no water penetration so far. Just over a bit, sliding around. Well, that was about, um, I think, 16 mils of rain. Yeah, 25 knot winds at one time, about 2, 3 a.m. It really hit. No penetration whatsoever of the tent. From what appears to be anywhere except the vestibule area, obviously, which isn't sealed. And the only reason that's wet is because the water's been dripping down and onto my floor mat I've got and just making its way that's totally irrelevant to the actual sleeping unit but this is bathtub design obviously <laughs> you can see just my ground mat's a bit lifted up here a little bit of water pooling that's all right well as you can see the rain's been stopped for about two hours and it's actually air dried itself. It's almost com completely damp free. Like I would consider that ready to be packed away. So that's another good thing to know. It air dries very well. I might make a cup of tea. Actually a coffee. I think I've got a coffee in my kit there. That'll wake me up. And yes, when I'm using the gas cooker, I've got this main door open. And this is an open floor tent, so I'm not gonna suffocate myself. I'm well aware of the risk involved with cooking in a tent. Cheers everyone. Oh, mm. You can't beat that. Hot tea or coffee on the gas cooker in the tent. After a night of strong winds, heavy rain, and bugger all sleep. But it was worth it. A good way to test this tent before I get onto some of my bigger adventures with it. It's going to give me some confidence in it. So as I mentioned before, the tent's actually already dry. Just from air drying itself. I'll leave it out a bit, get, the, get a bit of the um, daylight, the sunlight on it, let it heat up a bit. Get the bugs out. Before I pack it away anyway. Not a drip of water in here. How good is that? So really that sort of sums up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little short video. Been terrible weather this week. I haven't been able to get out and do any fishing or make any other content. So I thought I may as well try this down the back field. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Plenty more videos, outdoor camping, fishing, all kinds of adventure coming this year and in the future. Looking forward to it. Make sure you comment and give the video a thumbs up. And we'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching.